Hi, my name is Vanessa Ortiz. I am the aunt of Ashley Sepulveda. Okay. Okay. Have you ever been bullied before? Yes, I have. Uh, would you like to share your experience of being bullied? Actually, yes, I would like to share. Um, I was bullied when I was in the fifth grade. I was, uh, I think, 11 years old, mm -hmm. and I was transferred to the school out of the city, and I was honestly the only Hispanic child in the whole school, mm -hmm. the whole school. Mm -hmm. I was the only Hispanic child. So there was black kids and there were white kids, Chinese, but no Hispanic kids. So I was the only Hispanic kid, mm -hmm. and on top of being the only Hispanic kid, I was the only girl that was only supposed to wear skirts all the time. Mm -hmm. And I had really, really, really long hair and these really thick, thick, thick glasses and one eyebrow. And I was made fun of every day. Every day I would get on the bus and every day either somebody would put gum in my hair or they would sit on me or they would just always just make fun of me every mm -hmm. day. Every day I was getting teased and pushed around. And I was, I'm only 4'11", so at that time I was a lot shorter. So they were always making fun of me and pushing me around. And then one day, I threw a piece of candy mm -hmm. up in the air, and it hit this girl, and it hit her in the cheek. Mm -hmm. And she got up, and she was like, did you throw this at me? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> and she punched me right in the <gasps> face. And I cried, and I cried, and I was like, I sat down on the bus, and I was like, oh my God, what am I going to do? Every day, I'm getting bullied. <laughs> Every day, somebody's like beating me up, treating me like poop. I have to do something because I was afraid to tell my parents. Mm -hmm. I was afraid to tell my teachers. I was like, I have to do something because this is just going to get worse. So, I probably shouldn't have done it, but I did this. I was in a band. So on top of getting teased all the time, I was a nerd because I was in the <laughs> band. And I played a clarinet. And so I had a clarinet case uh -huh. with me, and I waited till the bus stopped at school, and everybody was to get off the bus. Uh -huh. So everybody got off the bus, and I made sure I got behind her. As soon as she got off the bus, I beat her. I beat her and beat her <laughs> and beat her and beat her till she bled with my clarinet case. And I did it. I think I, I was just... I had so much stored up anger mm -hmm. because I was being bullied and teased all the time that I just took it all out on her. Took it all out, pulled her weave, made her head totally bleed. It was snowing, so there was blood all over the snow. And the bus driver, he didn't say anything. He closed the door and just looked like, you know what, she asked for it. Because I was just so upset, you know. Mm -hmm. um, the teachers never found out about it. But the kids were all afraid of me ever, 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 after that because they were afraid that I would, you know, beat them mm -hmm. up. So now not only they weren't making fun of me anymore, they were all just afraid of me, mm -hmm. you know. And I know at now I can say that maybe that was a wrong thing for me to do. Maybe I should have talked to her mm -hmm. or handled it maybe a different way. But it happens as a child when you're getting teased and you're getting pushed around, you could only handle it so mm -hmm. much. It's just as a child, just as an adult. So... That's what I, that was my reaction on getting bullied. I just kind of exploded after so long because you can only handle so much. Mm -hmm. yeah. So how do you feel about bullying? Bullying is horrible, especially now. Back in the day, it was a long time ago, I'm not going to tell you how long, but <laughs> back in the days, it was around. Mm -hmm. But now there's different types of ways of bullying. So you have what they call cyberbullying. You have what you call text which you have all types of different types of bullying um, and it, I honestly if I was a teenager or a kid at this time like I don't know I think I would probably just you know if you go and you tell your teacher or you tell your superiors then you get bullied even more mm -hmm. you know so um, bullying as you guys know has caused kids to commit suicide and it's sad for someone for a, me being a mom it would be so sad for me to know that my children took their lives away mm -hmm. because someone has been taunting them or disrespecting them or treating them in all types of ways because of who they are. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's horrible. It's a horrible thing, and anybody who does it should get punished for it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you think parents should do if they find out that their kids are being bullied? 
I, as a parent, if I find out my children are getting bullied, I will definitely call the school. Mm -hmm. um, or definitely, if it has nothing to do with the school, maybe get in contact somewhere or another with that child's parent. Mm -hmm. Maybe sit down with the parent and discuss why is this going on. Obviously, there's an issue with the child that's bullying. Obviously, there's they're trying to compensate for something when they're um, beating up on another child or, or teasing them or taunting them or calling them names. Mm -hmm. So I would definitely try to first sit down with the parent and try to find out exactly why is it that this bullying is, is happening um, and what we can do to prevent it from happening because I don't want my child to be bullied. Just mm -hmm. as well, I'm sure as a parent, they wouldn't want their child to be bullied. Mm -hmm. 